The Aldis Podcast is brought to you by Aldis International, supplying your expert AI and digital transformation staffing needs across the US and Europe. Today, you are listening to our ServiceNow series, where we interview the best and brightest of the industry to share their story, advice, and views on the exciting world of ServiceNow and digital transformation. Hello, everybody. It's Mark Kelly here, Chief Customer Officer and Co-Founder at Aldis. And a part of our ServiceNow series, I'm very, very happy to welcome Catherine Kennedy. Catherine is Global Head of ServiceNow Business Unit at Microsoft. Catherine, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Mark. Tell us a little bit about your role in, in Microsoft and, and your part within the organization because Microsoft is obviously such a, a large company. Uh, it'd be great to hear a little bit about your role, some of the responsibilities, and what does that actually look like now? Yeah, great question. So uh, as the global GM of the ServiceNow business unit at Microsoft, my responsibilities to spans the 360 relationship focused on build with product innovations, go to market and sales. And, and when you kind of look at some of the, the transformation and we kind of talk a lot about this in terms of how COVID has fast fast tracked digital transformation and now customers have kind of gone from that kind of IT experience of kind of doing the kind of the very, very basics and helping, but now adding significant value across the business in terms of that transformation from the customer experience. What type of trends are you seeing? Yeah, good question. Um, on macroeconomic trends, uh, as we all know, the macroeconomic headwinds and the geopolitical tensions right now are quite strong. And so our customers are asking us for our help to do more with less. So this is where I really see ServiceNow and Microsoft coming together at the face of our mutual customers to really unlock the value of their existing investments. Why are you seeing that ServiceNow is the platform of choice? Is there particular reasons for that? Yeah, uh, great question again. So ServiceNow is uniquely positioned uh, with deep integrations across the Microsoft systems and the ecosystem. And so our close partnership from that perspective allows us to rapidly innovate and bring uh, joint offerings to market faster at the face of our joint and mutual customers. And is there anything exciting you the most about the ServiceNow platform and, and is particularly any reasons for that? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, honestly, I'm most excited about our shared focus on sustainability and the opportunities that this presents to both heal the planet and empower organizations to achieve more and helping the world just work better. That really excites me, to be honest. It's very altruistic, but it's very true. Yeah, and it's something like if you can make a positive impact with your day-to-day -day role, uh, that's going to impact so many people. You know, it's a it's a journey that's going to inspire a lot of people. Yeah, it it motivates me. That's 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 for sure. Tell us a little bit about the ServiceNow partnership and Microsoft for people that don't necessarily know about that, and maybe they've been kind of living under a rock. What kind of benefits can uh, Microsoft customers expect? Yeah, so from a benefit perspective, I'm going to give you three different stories. So the first one, I'll begin with Microsoft as a customer and a partner with ServiceNow. So our Microsoft IT support uses ServiceNow as a one-stop shop portal for all IT services. And by doing so, we saw a 10% reduction in time to resolution on support cases. Um, now, switching gears and taking another cu uh, customer and partner, Wipro, they implemented virtual agent on Teams, and they were able to reduce service requests by 40% and the time to resolution from six minutes to 90 seconds for over 250,000 employees. And then shifting gears even more to look at the hyperscaler space, um, Amadeus out of France selected ServiceNow to help move them from their data centers into the Microsoft Azure public cloud. And so in doing this, they were able to reduce the noise or false alerts by 99.8%, which is incredible and a great example of doing more with less. Six minutes down to 90 seconds. That's incredible. Over 250,000. Talk about scale. 
And then the second example, you're you're nearly at like like a hundred percent. So it's such a such an impact within such a short space of time. So it's it's very very exciting for the future. Yes, I t- I couldn't agree more. It's an exciting place to innovate. When you're kind of looking at some of the advice that you'd present to that kind of senior C-suite or any kind of kind of key learns on kind of embarking on that kind of trans- transformation initiative, does anything come to mind? Hmm. So, uh, honestly, some of the best advice I would probably share is to lean into your business and technology partners at Microsoft and ServiceNow. Um, I would say share that big, bold vision and your business objectives, your challenges, and ask for help. Don't be shy. These folks are honestly an extension of your team and the best in the business, frankly. What about advice for building, maintaining a team? Great question. Um, I would say my best advice is to have a really clear um, North Star, a vision to work towards, right? So I'm not talking about a big revenue target because everyone has that, but how do you help your customers achieve more and work better, right? So really instilling a belief in something that is much bigger is truly a unifying force for a team. And taking a different perspective in hiring, so for example, what I look for um, is high grit, integrity, curiosity and enthusiasm. And there's gonna be good days and there's gonna be challenging days, right? Um, But it's in those moments where we approach obstacles with empathy, curiosity, resilience, that truly sets us apart as a winning team. Yeah, I love the resilience part because there's gonna be challenges and you need, need to kind of get yourself ready to say, this is going to come down the track. Just be prepared for it. Think outside of the box. What kind of solutions you can come up with? Because the environment that you're in now, you just always have to kind of show that kind of grit and determination. Um, as, as it, it's something that's very, very important uh, for for the team. What's next for the platform? Good question, and I'm glad you asked. Um, as you know, we have the now virtual agent for teams, right? Um, We have the now platform available in Azure in some regulated markets like Australia and Singapore, where we're seeing incredible demand. And our customers are asking for more. They want more innovations, more integrations. And so it's an exciting uh, challenge, but we have a lot of exciting things to announce in the new year. So I can't share them now, but stay tuned. We're looking forward to hearing about those updates. And we have a question from our previous guest before we kind of close it out. What advice would you offer to your younger self if you're starting out again? Oh, I love that question. Well, honestly, if I am to take a moment and think about my own career, um, I would tell myself, don't take yourself too seriously and have a little more fun along the way, but don't stop climbing. And Honestly, that dream of having a fulfilling technology career and growing a family at the same time is going to happen. So this I promise. Um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's hard, it's easier to say than than to do, right? There's a lot of uh, balancing plates, but it's just trying to just take it one day at a time and just go through it. So it's it's great it's great advice. You know, fantastic. You've been listening to the all this podcast, part of our ServiceNow series. We've been speaking to Catherine Kennedy. Catherine is global head of ServiceNow business unit at Microsoft, and Catherine's been giving us a little bit of an overview about her role, the fantastic partnership between ServiceNow and Microsoft, and some examples about how people have been able to generate return on investment in a very very short period of time. When in that partnership. Thank you very much for your time, Catherine. Oh, thank you, Mark. It was so great talking with you and thanks for having me. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Aldis Podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. We are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and any Android podcast of choice. You can also head over to our website, www.aldis.com to listen to more podcasts, view our open roles, and stay up to date with industry news. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more great episodes coming very soon.